Today what we will be making is a business card box. As you may remember, a standard business card is three and a half inches long by two inches high. So the bottom of our box has to be at least three and a half inches long. So we're going to draw a line for the bottom. For convenience sake, we're going to make the width of the bottom two inches. And to give us a little extra room for the card, we're going to make this three instead of a half inch, we're going to make it three and five eighths inches long. We can just leave this at two inches. Then the sides of our box will fold up from the bottom. So we're going to need four tabs, one on each side of the box. Those tabs will each be two and an eighth inch high, again, to give us room for the cards. We will actually cut this whole piece from a single piece of metal. So I can represent that by putting some dotted lines out here to the corner. And now we can get an overall length and width of the sheet that we need to cut. Now I'm going to add 1 8 inch seam allowance to the overall uh, width and length to allow a little extra space for the bend. So our length would be 2 and an eighth plus 2 and an eighth plus 3 and 5 eighths, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7 eighths plus an eight, which is 8 inches. The Top to bottom here is two and an eighth plus two and an eighth, which is four and a quarter plus two is six and a quarter. So this would be six and three eighths. So we will begin our process by cutting a piece of metal that is a total of six and three eighths wide and eight inches long. And then we're going to notch the corners out a two and an eighth inch notch on each corner. I am going to use my treadle shears to cut the piece of metal, at least make the first cut. It will place the mark that I placed on the sheet by the edge of the blade here, and then step on the shears and it will give me a straight cut. By aligning it with the stop on the side and knowing that the rest of my sheet is square, I will get a straight cut. I'm actually going to go over to my one foot lever shears now, slide the metal into my mark, and use the shears to cut my bottom and side pieces and get ready for the next step of the process. I now have a piece of metal that I'm going to make the bottom and sides of my box out of. The next step is to cut the corners out of the box. I have already set up the notcher so that the guides are set to 90 degrees. This is a 90 degree angle from the notching corner to the guide. And this is a 90 degree angle. And that the distance that each side will guides is very simple. I just pull on the notcher. four times and the piece of metal is completed and ready to continue with making the box. The next step is to actually anneal this piece to soften it so as we work it we can get the best effect with our tools.